Jesus, I sing to God, Father Lord. Lord, I need your presence, oh Father Lord. I need your presence, oh Father Lord. We need your presence, oh Father Lord. Lord, 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 we need just a Father Lord. And just come and steal our hands, oh Father Lord. Lord, we need to feel your presence in our heart, Father Lord. We need to worship you, Father. Lord, I say, as we don't know at all, let's all worship you, Almighty God, oh Father Lord. Let your presence with us in the name of Jesus, Father Lord. Oh, let your presence, oh Father Lord. We need your presence. Lord, oh, we need your presence, oh, Father Lord. You are so grateful to me, Father Lord. You are so grateful to us, oh, Father Lord. We worship, we worship, we Father Lord. We worship, we worship, we Jesus, oh, Lord. Oh, Father Lord, we worship you. Oh, we worship you, Father Lord.
for this I I request Sheetal to pray for this. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful time, Lord Master God, for the wonderful time of worship, for the wonderful time of fellowship, Lord Master God. You said, Lord, where two and three are gathered in my name, I am there. You said, Lord Master God, Lord, I pray today while we worship you, Lord Master God, and while we move forward into the session, into this fellowship, Lord Master God, I pray that your presence will abide with us, Lord Master God, and that your word will be a double-edged sword, Lord Master God. Lord, I pray that you touch each and every one who's listening, who's watching at the moment, Lord Master God. Lord, if they're filled with the fear, I pray, Lord Master God. Lord, that you will speak to them and encourage them, Lord Master God. Lord, I pray, Lord Master God, that you will give them, Lord Master God, a spirit of courage, Lord Master God. Lord, all the fear be taken away in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, Lord Master God. Lord, no name is greater than your name, Lord Master God. Lord, no name, no wildness Lord Master God. Lord, no non-living particle, Lord Master God, is more smart enough, Lord Master God, than you, Lord Master God. Lord, for you have created the heaven and earth, Lord Master God. Lord, you control the universe, the very RNA, the very DNA, Lord Master God. Lord, the message and the coding is, is, is put in place by you, Lord Master God, and you know what to do and how to control and take away this countenance, Lord Master God. Lord, you are supreme among everyone and about everyone, Lord Master God. Lord, I pray, Lord Master God, that Lord, for the sake of the elect ones, Lord Master God, Lord, that you will take away the, these, this this virus, Lord Master God. You will take away the number of days, Lord Master God, of suffering and you will cut this short for your loved ones, Lord Master God, for your people, Lord Master God. Lord, and I pray that you will send out your grace and forgiveness, Lord Master God. Lord, on everybody's behalf, Lord Master God, Lord, we plead for your grace Amen. and for your mercy, Lord Master God. Lord Master God, for the world will not sustain a pestilence like this, Lord Master God. It's only and only by your grace, Lord Master God. And you said, Lord, if the people look unto me, I will heal the land. You said, Lord, I pray, Lord, today on their behalf, we would like to pray, Lord Master God, and request you, Lord Master God, Lord, to cut short the number of days, Lord Master God. Thank you so much, Lord. I give your word into your mighty hands, Lord Master God. Lord, you speak to each and every one of us. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. God is wonderful. Amen. God is wonderful and He's always faithful. Don't do not be worried um, or or have fear. Just just to start with the joke uh, that I I just coughed once and uh, everyone around got scared. Uh, I just coughed for something else. I don't know why I coughed though, but I don't have any virus. Uh, and moreover, you don't have to be afraid that virus doesn't pass through the camera also. But I I coughed once and then what Sheetal did was immediately she went and got warm water and, and just bit it in gargle and, and uh, <laughs> yeah we got and ginger tree as well and then, yeah I'm healed right now I'm just kidding but you see the fear fear is always the the problem um, in in people even even you are right now might be having fear in you but do not be afraid the word says in in, in Psalms that God is commanding his angels to guard over you. Every way you go, God is guarding you. That doesn't mean that you can roam around. Uh, you have to respect the law of the land. But at the same time, uh, that do not be afraid. Nothing will harm you. God is there to protect you. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil. Yeah? So God is not going to leave us to go astray. He's not going to leave us to suffer. Uh, so don't be worried. And um, today we, I'm going to talk to you about uh, certain things very, very quickly. Uh, you know, people who, are, who, are, who have come to the church, you know that uh, whenever I say quickly, I don't finish quickly. That that is my biggest problem. I I go on preaching, uh, and we have a lot of uh, fun times in the church. But I really miss standing up and preaching and uh, worshiping with you all, dancing around. No, no, we are not able to dance because we have to sit in a small space, and uh, because the camera lenses are small and. Uh, we have to adjust in this, but we hope that the days is coming back come again. Yeah, and we're, we're going to come back in worship and dancing, mm -hmm. and uh, and we'll be grateful to God 
for that day and it is coming very soon and i think i think we all needed this this break huh? most of the people told me and i don't have time uh, to pray i'm very packed i'm i'm not able to get enough time to read word you know and i think this is a beautiful time that you have got that you are, you are, some of you are getting paid and you are sitting at home doing nothing and uh, some of you are working you are working more now more than the office now some of you are studying now you don't have anything to do you have to just do your uh, notes or something like that some of you are now now the technology is increased the classes are starting online also i guess but some of you most of you are free um, this moment and i think um, this is very important that we use this moment uh, to to recognize that that uh, every materialistic thing is not going to sustain we are not every run that we are doing is going to end because uh, soon or soon sooner jesus is coming back yeah god is coming very soon and he's going to take you to not be afraid and so you see today i want you to, i want to, i want to talk to you about uh, a, a person called nicodemus i know you all know him he's a um is a spiritual leader and those days is a very very well acute leader or or you can say is a very knowledgeable leader and um this leader is is not sending his disciples is not sending his workers but he is going himself to talk to jesus he's in a very high position but he's going to talk to jesus what is he talking about he's talking about what is 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 just going and expecting uh, uh, answer from god and god is jesus is talking about if you turn your bibles to john chapter 3 when when you see jesus in reply he says that i tell you the truth no one can see the kingdom of god unless he is born again what did he ask what did he ask like that that god wanted to answer in two if you read he came to jesus at the uh, at the night and said rabbi we know that you are the teacher who has come from god for no one could perform the miraculous signs and you are doing if god were not with him in reply for that in reply he said no one can come to the kingdom of god unless unless he is born, born again. again unless he is born again so you see uh, the the normal question like if you are if you are not a believer if you don't know jesus you might have the same question right now that how can a person be born again and economists have the same question that how can a person be born again it's impossible can i go back into a mother's womb it's impossible he cannot be born again and jesus is telling you know what that's not the way it is it's about your born again in water water and spirit and you see that water is the one you you all know some of you know biology that you have water in your mother's stomach the water breaks and then you come out that's how it is uh, that's how it works the fluid is we so so called water and you you see that that um, in the world also god baptizes Jesus, Jesus also got baptized and John baptized Jesus because he wanted to renew his spiritual life. You see, renewing of things is very important. Renewing, getting back to the track is very important. See church, that so most of the times you are running around, you are busy in your life, everything was fast, fast, fast. Now God has given you a break, not, for that you, not so that you will take rest, you will not sleep, but so that you will get connected to God back again. You will renew your spirit, you will renew your spiritual life you will renew the spiritual rebirth will happen into you into you and that is why god is talking about the spiritual rebirth in this chapter to nicodemus he's telling he's telling him that you know what you need a spiritual rebirth that is happening oh you're good you're worshiping you're doing everything perfectly but right now that's not enough you need a spiritual rebirth in your life and this is the moment that god has given to us to have a very beautiful time in having a spiritual rebirth i was not able to read by Bible. I don't have time. I get I get back home. I am very tired. I'm not able to pray. And we have all lost. Our, we have all got into luxury right now. We want to sit and worship. We don't want to kneel down. We don't want to stand up. We don't want to lift our hands and worship. We don't know. We don't want to bow our heads down in, in the presence of God. We are very cool, and everyone is wanting the AC and conduct, AC conditioner room. They want all fans towards them. They want all comfortability towards them. They want juices. They want teas. They want water around there you know I understand that's all your goodness that is all good for you but at the same time right now you don't get anything
thing. You're, you're stuck in a situation. But God is telling you need a spiritual birth. I need a spiritual rebirth. Spiritual rebirth is very important in our life. That I need to renew. my. You see, you all use a phone. You all use an Android phone or iOS phone. That you have... You have to need an update to to work. And right now, if you don't update, what happens? What happens if you don't update? It won't renew the new thing that the company is giving. For an example, if you are using uh, iOS, um, um, the Android or, or the or the iPhone software, that if the company will be releasing new things into it, new uh, new uh, facilities, new goodness, new versions will come, new better cameras will uh, camera quality will come, better uh, um, the usage quality will come, better everything will uh, battery will come, everything will be better, man. And if you are telling no, 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 I don't want to update. That means that means you will be using the old version only God is telling I, I'm giving you an opportunity for you to update and this is a moment for you to be updated it is a moment for you to be have a spiritual rebirth again you know sometimes the word of God uh, is very strong strong to us and most of the times we go around go around listening to things that that, that are very comfortable to our ears we, are, we want to hear things that are very cool to us and nice to us and I, I know I, I think that is okay in some way but at the same time you should you should also listen to the truth of it truth part of it Nicodemus would not get upset you, you see in God, God is telling in the word seven he said you should not be surprised at my saying and you must be born again He's telling to the spiritual leader, you so-called today's pastor, prophet or whoever that is. He's a spiritual leader. He's a good man. He's a wonderful man. He's so humble. He's so humble that he comes to Jesus and he asks questions. He doesn't have to. None of the Pharisees wanted to. But he came down to Jesus and he wanted to ask Jesus for, for the questions that he had. He wanted to tell Jesus that you're wonderful. Your miraculous signs are great. But this Nicodemus and Jesus is saying that this Nicodemus you don't be don't be surprised that you have to be born again you understand Nicodemus has to be born again you sometimes think I'm spiritual enough I'm praying enough I'm reading Bible enough I'm walking in God's way enough and I don't have to be born again I am okay I don't have to be have a spiritual birth I am fine I am doing perfectly fine and God is telling you yes you are doing perfectly fine but I am giving you this time for you to have a spiritual birth rebirth spiritual rebirth has to happen in our life and spiritual rebirth I want you to turn your Bibles to Titus chapter 3 verse 5 5 he says washing of rebirth and renewed renewed by the Holy Spirit the washing of your rebirth is washing you by his presence by his grace by his love and you will be clean I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from the idols and I will give you the new heart and put new spirit in you I will I will I will renew I will remove a heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Amen. Most of you are worried that am I getting spiritually? I do. I, do I have a spiritual growth? Am I growing, going closer to God? Am I going closer to God? Maybe that is your question right now. Am I going closer to God? I, maybe you are in a situation where you are falling back and back again into the sin, and you 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 do you are trying to get up, but you are not able to get up. God is telling, He's sprinkling the water. The time is coming, He's sprinkling the water over you. He's cleansing your heart. He's giving you a new heart. You know why God gives a new heart? Why God gives a new heart? Because He knows that your heart cannot be fixed anymore. It is corrupted by this world. And He wants to give a new heart. Not a fixed heart, but a new heart. He wants to remove that heart. And He wants to give you the new heart. Not when we say heart, it doesn't mean just the physical heart that is pumping blood. That's not what we are talking about. People who don't know about that. It's not that. It's about your priority. It's your interest. It's your core of it. It's your soul. That It is your it is your. Everything. Everything that you think or anything that is pumping out in your body, in your flesh, in every thought of you. You see things because heart is deciding or that kind of thing. A center of your soul is telling he wants to renew it. He wants to give you a new heart. And church, you have to know this, that this is my time. This is my time. I cannot be quiet. I cannot be quiet. I have been quiet. I have been falling back, back again. I have been doing the same sin again. I have been, I, I have been denying God again and again. But you have to remember that this is the time. Jesus is coming.
coming back soon. If you're not cleansing your heart, if you're not renewing your heart, if your heart is like a stone, God cannot remove and God cannot put new heart in you. Church, when David had sinned, he asked God, God, create in me a new heart. Create in me a new heart. Renew that spirit within me. Amen. He wanted a new spirit in his life. David understood. That is why God called him a person who is close to his heart. If you want to be a person who is close to his heart, you have to learn to be a reborn person. It's a spiritual rebirth time for you. It's a spiritual rebirth time. You have to spiritually reborn. When you first chose to follow God, you were praying hours together. When you first chose to follow God, you were reading Bibles very well. But slowly what happened? You lost your first love. You slowly lag down. You didn't want to read anymore. You, you're, you're, you're blaming your time. You're telling, I don't have time. I have to go to work. I have to go to this, that. I want to study. I have examinations. You're just blaming the time. But right now you've got enough time. Are you using this time to have your spiritual rebirth? Is my spiritual, it's my soul getting a rebirth right now? Am I renewed in this presence of God? Amen. So it's a challenge for you and me that we're going to have the spiritual rebirth in our lives. It's enough. It's enough. Jesus is coming back. It's enough. It's enough. My life has gone away from Jesus. Now I have to get back. This is the right moment for my life. This is the right moment for my life. I cannot be messing up anymore. I cannot be messing up anymore. I cannot be listening to things that are very comfortable to my heart. Oh, God blesses me. God gives me grace. God gives. God loves me. Yes, God loves you. God blesses you. God gives you grace. But the word of God says that unless, unless you are covered by the blood of Jesus, unless you are washed by the blood, water, the spirit and the water of God, unless you, you have the rebirth, you will not enter the kingdom kingdom of God. You don't understand that. My kingdom of God, me entering to the kingdom of God, me entering to, to with, with Jesus to the heaven is not by the not by my actions, by by his grace. I have to live my life in purity to him. I have to live my life in purity to him. Where is my spiritual are you getting comfortable with this world? That's my question to you. Are you getting comfortable? In this world, and I want to tell you as an encouragement spiritual rebirth, no matter where you are, you have to grow. You have to grow. Don't stop growing. Don't stop growing. If you're able to read word today, if you're able to read one word today, make sure that you're reading a chapter tomorrow. Make sure that you're praying more tomorrow. If you're able to pray one minute today, make sure that you're praying more tomorrow. Don't run around. Don't run around the bush. Don't run around. God knows everything. And God is giving you this opportunity. God is giving you this opportunity. This is the last minute for your life. Don't waste this opportunity. Get your spiritual birth. In Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 it says, They will, they will wait upon the Lord. Those who wait upon the Lord will renew, shall renew their strength. And they will go up like eagles. Amen. They will fly up like eagles. Amen. They will walk and not worry. Yeah. Do not be afraid. You have to know this. You have to wait on the Lord. Make sure that you spend enough time with Jesus. Get your spiritual rebirth done. Get your spiritual rebirth done. Start renewing. Reading the word of God. He loves you. Do not, do not give away. For this world is wonderful God to your life. Nothing will happen to you. Get back to Jesus. Get back to Jesus. Get everything sorted out. Ask God to forgive you. In the later verse in the chapter 3, if you read, Jesus is talking about all oh, the light cannot come to the darkness. You see, you 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 cannot go to God with your sin. 
You cannot go to God with your enough attitude. Always expect something new. As we sang this song, we won't be satisfied for anything ordinary. Your spiritual life also should not be ordinary. It should renew its spiritual life. You need to have that rebirth that is happening in your life. Don't listen to anyone that is putting you down. Don't listen to every thought that is putting you down. You are not a sinner. God has washed you, washed you by blood and he was he's expecting you to have a rebirth today. Don't be afraid. God bless you and I hope that God will bless you as, as you listen to this word and apply it in your life. I just want you to take this moment and wherever you are, just close your eyes and start praying or just uh, start telling to God. Let everyone here also, we'll, we'll all close our eyes and we'll start speaking to God. We want to say, God, I want to have a spiritual growth. I want to have a spiritual growth. Oh, Father, I want to have a spiritual rebirth today. Lord Jesus God, I want to start spiritual rebirth here. I want to have spiritual rebirth in me. Lord, I want to lay down everything. I want to lay down everything. Lord Jesus God, I want a spiritual rebirth. I want to get back to the basics of Father God. I want to get back to the basics of Father. I want to get back to the basics of Lord. Lord Jesus God, I want to have a spiritual rebirth. Lord Jesus God, I want to have a rebirth. I surrender all. I surrender all, Lord Jesus God. All to Jesus, oh Father God. We surrender to you, Jesus God. We surrender to you, Lord Jesus God. As we sing this chorus, all to Jesus, I surrender. You all just start worshipping God from your heart and say, all to Jesus, I surrender my life. I surrender my life. I want to have the spiritual rebirth in my life. It's not enough. It's not enough. My prayer is not enough. My word, reading word is not enough. My spending time with God is not enough. I want to get more and more and more connected to Him. And just, just take this moment as we sing the song. Just worship Him. shall abide in us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for watching and I want to tell you that we have prayers every day happening. Um, so morning 4, 4 a.m. Uh, as Jesus was praying at the 4 a.m. that we um, uh, we are all as a family, um, as a church family and everyone that we are praying at 4 a.m. in the morning. I know it's very hard for you to wake up. How are, you, how are we praying? We are praying online. We have a website or we have a uh, uh, what's uh, this app that is uh, that is uh, right there and it's called zoom and there is one more called IMO I don't know how to pronounce that but uh, we have both of it if you're on whatsapp we will send you the link and if you're if you have some data with you just 
download that and we are all going to have video conference or sometimes we have audio in the morning so morning 4 o'clock 4 a.m. sharp we'll be praying from 4 to 5 we will pray after 5 you can go back to sleep if you want to or you can you can spend time with the Lord personal prayer but we're going to pray for this nation at 4 a.m. in the morning we're going to kneel down and we're going to pray we're going to ask God for revival of our nation revival of our hearts and we are we are fasting and praying in the days um, um, that that most of the TV um, preachers are also asking you to fast because they are conducting prayers so you can join with them also whenever you're free just don't don't leave this opportunity to take you in other terms like watching movies everything you can watch a little bit of YouTube videos but but don't get over stuck in that just come back and get get your basics done read the word of God write a lot of things get back to your basic if you love music play music if you love singing sing if you love something Thing to draw you draw so whatever you love just get back to just imagine that you don't have a phone just imagine that there's no electricity you don't have a phone just imagine that you're in 90s or 80s or something like that just enjoy get back to the basics enjoy with family spend time don't go out as till the government tells you to go out be safe God will bless you do not be worried and let presence of God will guide you yeah thank you so much for watching God bless you all I hope to see you all soon we miss you very much all of us here are missing you guys and we miss the church even Matthew is behind the camera he is helping us so all of us are missing you and uh, uh, hopefully we will all worship I miss the choir team especially we know um, Sam uh, Stephen all of you and Andrew we are all missing you guys I, I hope that we will be able to worship together we'll be able to uh, give God glory very soon as possible yeah thank you so much God bless you all you guys want to say bye to them bye bye, bye. thank you so much thank bye you. bye bye